Hey guys, Mike Moo here. I am recording this quick little first look review of the Nightcore Sony FW50 series battery charger. Uh, Nightcore uh, sent this out to me for review, um, but uh, I, th this is in no way sponsored by them. Um, I can say or post whatever the heck I want about it, so I'm just giving you my complete honest opinion after using the Nightcore charger for approximately a week now. So the uh, we all know the, the FW50 series is used in a lot of different Sony cameras. You know the A7, A6000 series, maybe A5000 series, etc. And they are really, really battery hungry. So it becomes very important to always travel with a bunch of batteries if you're going on an extended trip and also chargers. Now the one I've been using before was the Rav Power, uh, the Rav Power one that came with my battery set, and that one actually works okay. You know, it's free. Uh, with the two batteries, it's thirty dollars or something. It does does the job, but it doesn't give me some important details that the Nightcore version does have. So what's great about the Nightcore is that it actually has an LCD screen uh, that actually tells you the charge state, how much charge has been put into the batteries, and approximately how much in terms of the levels in the graph uh, is left before it is fully charged. These are all very important things if you're always on the go. So. That alone is some very useful information. On top of that, it has a built-in USB cable, so I, it's permanently attached. I don't need to uh, worry about whether or not I brought enough micro USB cables because it's it's right there in the back. Um, the profile of the, the entire overall volume or space that the charger takes is actually also smaller than the RAV Power one. So that's also another benefit, especially if you're traveling. As far as the charging speed, I notice it's just a little bit faster. Uh, highly dependent on what kind of charger you're using because it doesn't include a USB power adapter. You can use any USB power plug as far as that concern. But you definitely want to have one that at least is at least one amp, true one amp or 1.5 or maybe a tablet charger would work out just fine for uh, for the night core. So if you plug it into something that only has a little bit of output, like a, let's say a netbook, for instance, you're going to charge slower, but it'll actually tell you the charge rate. So you'll, you will actually know without an external device, um, approximately how fast that you're charging. Of course, it's got the standard voltage check, you know, the safety things It passes all those other uh, regulations and uh, Nightcore did a really, really excellent job in this, especially since this charger only costs $20. You compare that with a Sony charger, you know, and it's 50 bucks for the Sony version. And it doesn't do as much, it doesn't charge two of them at a time. And, you know, I think I think we have a real winner here. Uh, I'm, I'm not getting into any real technical details as far as this video is concerned. I'm gonna do some more technical tests with the battery and power meter and uh, we'll, we'll see a side-by-side -side comparison how it is like if you're charging it within the camera, which is not advised, it's useful, um, or whether or not you're using this external charger versus the RAV power charger that this one will be replacing. All right, well, that's it for this quick first look review of the Nightcore Sony battery charger. The model number is down below. You can check that out. And it is directly available now from Amazon Prime, which is my favorite place to buy things because you get free overnight shipping. Uh, please like and subscribe. I need about a thousand subscribers in order to continue to do producing more of these videos and get some incentives from it for AdSense. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.